So at the end of our first video, we had created our first state tree and created our first task, the idle task. And we can just test it again. There we go, it has entered the idle state. Now, the next state we want to create is a patrol state. So let's try that. Back to our AI tasks. And we'll make another child of the base task. This is our state tree task patrol. Now, we'll make a very simple patrol where our enemy randomly moves to a different location. So let's begin simply doing that. So we'll enter the state. We'll add a call to the parent function because we will need that in the future. And we'll do an AI move to. And from there, we will call a custom event, which will be Let's just call it random location patrol. We'll want to do an AI move to. Now the issue is we need to have a pawn. We want to pull this off. But we don't have access to that pawn anywhere. So how do we there's no way from here to get the pawn in the state tree. So we need to set that up as a variable. So we can say pawn. This will be a, we know our pawn is a BP enemy. And we will expose it here. Now when we go back here, our patrol state, our task, we will add patrol, have a pawn here, and we can bind it to the actor, which is set here, the context actor, BP enemy, is now bound to the pawn. So we'll get our pawn. I mean, let's, let's rename it enemy pawn. And rebind it here. We get our enemy pawn. Make sure it's valid. Read that in here. Now we need the random location, so we can say get random location, get random reachable point in radius. The origin, we can use our enemy pawn, get a location. I'll say radius of Say 1,000, read that in there. And what we will do is we will we'll complete the task. So when it succeeds, we will say finish task, succeed, and if it fails, task fail. And basically we will just say when it completes the task, so uncompleted means either succeeds or fails. 
we'll simply tell it to go back to patrol to find another location. Compile, save. Now the question is, how does it go from idle into patrol? State trees use a lot of gameplay tags, and that's probably the best way of achieving this. So we should add, and as we're going to create some gameplay tags, let's create a folder. We'll just call this data, because the easiest way is to create a data table. Call that game a tag table row, and this will be our DT data table enemy enemy states. So this will be state dot idle will be state dot troll then we are going to need state dot chase now we need to add these to our project so go to the project settings Come down and look for gameplay gameplay tags. Gameplay tag table list. Now we can pick our DT enemy states. And now instead of having to add them individually. Here with a plus, we can simply say we've got the more chase idle patrol. Close that, save everything, and now if we open our AI controller, if we go back to the state tree, and what we'll say is that from the idle state you can transition on an event which will be gameplay tag state patrol you can transition to the patrol state compile that and what we can do is maybe in our enemy We can put another delay, maybe three seconds. And we can send a send a state tree event. Now if we just break this split that, we can give it the tag. And the tag here will be patrol. So that should work. Let's have a look. So we start off with an idle, three seconds. didn't work. Why? Go to patrol. Oh, because we didn't call random. So when we enter the state, we have to call random patrol location. So again, in the patrol task, we enter the state. When it enters, we will call random patrol location.
so idle and after three seconds now he'll randomly move to a different location. And now we have our second state. 